Right now, Israeli forces on the brink of a major ground invasion in Gaza as the U.S. increases its show of force. The Pentagon sending a second aircraft carrier to the Mediterranean Sea towards Israel. Our next guest knows all about America's war on terror. Retired U.S. Army Major General Dana Bittard helped the U.S. fight the war on ISIS, and he joins us now. I, I want to get to that ISIS aspect and the comparisons in a moment, but first talk to me about the strategic significance of these aircraft carriers in the region. Will they have a deterrence effect, or are they there just in case something more breaks out? Well, good morning, Pete. Good morning. Uh, having a, a second uh, strike carrier group in the Eastern Mediterranean is very rare, but it really gives uh, the U.S. options, options from everything from the potential evacuation of Americans, uh, American citizens if necessary, and also the deterrent value to potential adversaries like Iran, like Syria, like Hezbollah, uh, Russia and China in the area. It also is in support, potential support of Israel if necessary. What kind of uh, deterrence are we talking about? What are the capabilities for our audience of, of an aircraft strike group? All sorts of capabilities from um, the destroyers, battleships, which can provide fire uh, from, from ships to, the, uh, to land, to the coast uh, for bombardments, to the, the, the aircraft squadrons that are part of um, the carrier strike group, to the intelligence value, all sorts of things, even having the USS Bataan nearby with amphibious uh, landing capability with Marines. So there is a lot of capability with a second U.S. strike group. General, you were a part of the dismantling of ISIS, which some said would take, you know, years, and, and it ended up being a mission that once you untied the hands of our warfighters, they were capable of doing. What do those lessons tell you about what might be about to unfold in Gaza? Well, I was, and I was proud to be a part of that fight against ISIS and eventually the, the feat of ISIS. Um, what it tells us about uh, what's going on Hamas, it's going to be a tough fight. Hamas is really a wannabe ISIS. ISIS was actually much better organized. Uh, ISIS did not try to behead kids, children. Um, but Hamas um, is an evil terrorist group that must be eradicated. But that fight will be tough. I've been to Gaza before, uh, Pete. And it's densely populated uh, in the city. Uh, the fighting uh, will be block by block, street by street, building by building. There'll be booby traps everywhere. Hamas has had time to prepare. Uh, there'll be sub a subterranean fight uh, with the tunnels and, and the sewers, as well as on the ground and then even above ground with the, uh, the buildings and everything else like that. So it'll be a tough going. There'll be casualties on both sides. Uh, but Israel will prevail, will defeat Hamas, and eradicate that terrorist group. How do the hostages complicate that, General, in your mind, if you're conducting total war on Hamas at the same time? Well, extremely complex. You know, Israel has put out a warning uh, asking for civilians to move out of northern uh, Gaza. Some have complied, but many have not because the Hamas leadership wants to keep them there as human shields. Uh, so that will make it very complex. There will be civilian casualties, unfortunately. Um, the civilians will be caught in the crossfire uh, between the Israeli forces coming in and Hamas trying to use them as, as human shields. Mm -hmm. General Petard, thank you for your insight this morning and for your service to our country. We appreciate it. No, thank you, Pete. Thank you for your service. Thank you, sir. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.